Welcome back to another exciting Art with Mr. Johnson. Well, this week I'm doing two faces, surreal, one less surreal, the other way more surreal. And the second one that we're gonna do is more in the style of a famous artist by the name of Pablo Picasso. Picasso was born in Spain, but he spent most of his life in France. He was born in 1881, died in 1973. He's super cool. His, some of his weird work is a little crazy, I'm not gonna lie, but he really has a lot of fun. His work is very playful. And so our last project that we did was surreal, and it was a face, and we just kind of changed the colors around, <clears throat> had fun. Now on this one, it's gonna get crazy. And we're gonna make a face, but we're really gonna mix things up and make them really weird. Make it as weird as you want. That's the fun part. All right, so grab yourself a piece of paper, some crayons, a Sharpie, work mat so you don't get your table dirty. I'll see you in just a second. All right, my friends, welcome back. Get ready to have some crazy fun. All right, we are gonna start with the head. And this time we're gonna do the top, then the bottom. Remember the top is gonna be kind of curved, the bottom's gonna come in like a V. And on this one, you can kind of really tilt it, or you can make it straight up and down. Here's one of my practices, here's one of my other practices. Now remember, if yours doesn't look like mine, great. My next one won't even look like my two practices. Just play with it, have fun. Don't worry about it, it's supposed to look weird. So if yours looks weird, don't be mad. Weird is better, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for weird, crazy, super surreal. All right, so I'm gonna, I like this little tilted head, so I'm gonna do this, on this one tilted. This one's more straight. If you wanna do it straight, you can. If you wanna do it tilted, you can do it tilted. I'm gonna make mine tilted this time. So just make a semicircle, little half rainbow for the top of the head. Now, this one we're really gonna come down to a sharp point for a sharp chin. On our other one that we did, we did round face, but this one we're gonna do more of a sharp heart-shaped face. So kind of, let's see. Hmm, this one wasn't as just tilted as I thought it was gonna be. Okay, so just kind of come down. And then more of a point and bring it back up. All right, now see, I'm already different because this one is a little, this side's a little bit different. That is fine. All right, and then, so right to get us started, in the middle, we're gonna make a curvy line right down the middle. So just right down to the chin. All right, now we're gonna make our first eye, make a line that comes over, down. Make your eyes pretty big, because we like to have big eyes on these surreal pictures. On this one, I'm gonna make it a little bit more over here, same thing. Well, this one's gonna be weird. I like it already. All right, then we're gonna make a circle on the inside for the eye and a black dot for your pupil. And then that one's kind of a more oval. This one to make a nice round one, just to make it weird and a dot right there in the middle. Okay, now we're gonna make a line from the side of the face that kind of comes in and it curves down and stop at the line, but then we're gonna continue for this side. This is, so we're gonna make our nose. So come here, trace along your eye, come down, and then about halfway, come and curve it. And actually you can just kind of go and curve it all the way back to the other eye. Oh yeah, this one's gonna be weird. <laughs> and then here, we're just gonna make another little line that comes off to the middle. So see, now it looks like an eye right there. Then we'll make our lips. So up, down, up, little smile. Oh yeah, this one doesn't even look anything like it. Then a line across. That little line there was an accident. <laughs> Don't do that one on the side. And then let's make some crazy eyelashes. Make them go different directions, however you want. 
All right. Okay, looking good. Now we're gonna do the hair. And the hair on both sides is gonna be different. This is gonna be more straight. This is gonna be more wavy on this side. So right from this line, come up, loop it around, bring it in, and then way out, and then back to the face. Then we're gonna start from here, and then we're gonna make this long hair on this side. And that's just gonna come right off the face, just like that. Then for our neck, just make a little line that comes off like that. You can even make, how did I do that? <laughs> I'm confused already. And then make another little line for our neck right down here. And make another little line here. Okay, there we go, looking cool, looking cool. So yeah, this one is more like that one than this one, because this part of the nose got a little confusing, so I wanted to make it a little bit easier for you. All right, I put the lid on my Sharpie. For the coloring, I think the, I made green eyes on that one. I'm gonna make blue eyes on this one. So I'm just gonna color in. Now, like I showed you on the last one, you can just go ahead and stop and color everything in right now because you are the boss of your colors. But I do wanna show you on this one a couple of little tricks for the hair that I did that make it look neat. So let me show you that right now. So here's my eyes. but. For the hair, on this side, you can see I put these streaks of yellow. So what I did was I just kind of made some yellow streaks, however you want it. And then I went back over it with brown hair. You don't have to make brown hair. You can make orange hair. You know what? I'm going to do orange hair just to have fun and show you something different. Let me get a darker orange. And then you can go back in and you can color that around, you kind of go around that orange. So you leave those, your little streaks in there. And then what you're gonna do when this is all done is you'll go back over it with the yellow and some parts that we missed that we want to fill back in for our streak. So I'm not going to fill this in totally. Mostly I'm going to fill it in, but I am going to leave a little bit of space around my yellow so I can fill in those streaks even better. And on the hair, I like to have it going all straight, so it looks like straight hair, but you can do it however you want. So I have that, so I'm going to go back with my yellow now. And with my yellow, I'm going to go back over my streaks and kind of fill in those spaces. Make it even a little bit darker. So that's how I did the streaks there. You can do it with that. Then on the other side, I made some blue streaks. And I have these ones, whereas this was more curved like a vertical line. These ones I'm gonna do kind of straighter like this. So like this. Remember, you can do whatever color you want. I'm just showing you some ideas because it looks neat. And go edge to edge. This is kind of like we did on the other one, if you would chose to do this idea. I kind of took that idea from this project because I did think it was look, it looked pretty neat. You don't have to do the streaks if you don't want to. You could do different colors for the streaks if you want. And on, so on that one, I did black hair. Do I have a black crayon? Yes, I do. And because I want to have it like light and dark, so I'm not going to color and press super hard. 
but I'll just fill this in. Same thing, I'll probably just take my blue when I'm done and go back over and make my streaks even stronger, but this has given me a good idea of where I want to color. Just kind of get the outside edge nice and dark. And then just fill those in. I'll come around here like this. See, I'm going to come back and put some more blue in here. I like the little more stronger blue. For my streaks. Fill that in. I will go a little bit darker down at the bottom of the hair. And play around with it. You can press really dark or you can press light and it changes and you can mix it all in. So there's my blue. So I'll go back in and I'll kind of fill this in a little bit more now. Just play around, have fun. All right. What other tricks can I show you here? Oh, for the eyes, um, on this one, I left the eyes white. On this project we did last time, I colored in the eyes. I do like that colored in eyes. So I'm gonna do, I think I'll color mine in. So I'm gonna do orange, I can do yellow. That looks pretty cool. If you want to get totally crazy, you can do a different color for the other eye, like orange. So we want it to look just kind of crazy. Have fun. All right, this is looking cool. So. I'm, I'm kind of kick with, stay with my colors here, but you can try whatever color you want. Um, I like to play with the light blue and the dark blue. So, but I think I'm gonna change it a little bit. I'm gonna make this part right here, light blue. And then maybe I'll do, let's see, oh, pink. I don't know, you know I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do some different colors than I did on this one. And I'll make this part for my nose, this half of the nose, this darker color. Let's see here. Then I made that one pink, so I'll make on this side just to keep it different. I'll go brown up here. You can go over your eyelashes because the Sharpie is darker than the crayons. And if you go over the lines a little bit into your other colors, that's okay. this is not supposed to be perfect. All right, I'm loving it. Okay.
Okay, grab a pink. If you have a pink, if you don't have a pink, you can just color lightly with another color. I'll do this pink. Oh, on that one, I put in a uh, eyebrow. You can do that too. You can just grab another color and just put in an eyebrow. And then when we color back in with the pink, just kind of go over that. So let's see here. All right, what color else should I do? Hmm, orange. Let's see, so that's the lighter orange. I'll use a darker orange for this part. Oh, that's kind of match my eye though. Hmm, what should I do? I don't want it to be the same as the eye. Let's see, red. I'll do this red. Here we go. A little sunburn. <laughs> Because if I would have done the face part orange, it would have been the same as the eye. I, mean, I could have done that. But I want to have it be a little more different. If you go over your lips a little bit, that's all right. We're going to go back and make those darker. All right, this is looking so cool. All right, I'm gonna grab a purple. I haven't used that yet. I'll do the top lip, purple. And I'll do the bottom, dark blue. All right, neck. Where's my red? I'll do a little bit of red on the side here, down here, or purple. Just to show you some different ideas. And let's see, I'll go, I did brown on that one. I like that one. I'll do this part of the neck brown. Now, now I'm gonna do the rest, the background's just two different colors. So I do like how that green came out. So I'm gonna get my darker green. You know how you've got two greens, you got a dark green and a light green. I like the dark green better for the background. So, but I wanna make everything different than I do on this side. So I'm gonna make this side the dark green. You just color that in. Same thing, don't worry if you go over into the hair because the hair is darker so it's not going to show up. And if you get a little bit into it so it shows up, that's kind of neat too. Then we get the same little part right in here, green, so it matches. Bring this back over to the other side. And I think I'm going to go back with the light blue color because dark blue is going to start getting really dark. But you could do it that way if you want. So now I'm just going to do this. This light blue.
And this face was pretty easy to draw and you can play with that. So you could try other designs, putting more lines, different colors, however you want. I just wanted to give you, well, that's the same, but that'll be all right. A different idea. Actually, I kind of like how that's going to blend in right there. Whoops, went over. Oops, I missed a spot right there. And one thing you could do if you want, since that did kind of come out the same color, maybe what I'll do is I'll try it with a darker blue down here, just for this part. This bottom part, just so it's a little bit different. All right. Well, there we did it. We made a crazy, surreal Picasso face. I hope you had fun. I did. See you.